Hey viewers, Lance Corpo Joe Harper here. All the name Combat Mission Expert and Guide bring you a uh, new scenario from Combat Mission Shock Force 2. This one's called Bad Moon Rising. Uh, Marine Corps uh, advancing across the open desert with a uh, company of uh, Abrams. Um, tough, tough Abrams. Um, bit of an interesting scenario, this one. This desert looks uh, completely featureless. There's essentially a flat plane. Um, the objective is to uh, get the blue touch point on the other side of the map. Um, however, Syrians are um, going to be uh, trying to stop us, and they, in fact, will be trying to get the uh, red touch point on this uh, side of the map. It's not really uh, much in the way of a briefing to go by, it's uh, night time and uh, we've got to move to cut the uh, road. The objective is the, um, the highway exit and enemy and friendly casualties, so it's a real uh, uh, knock and down, drag him out fight. The uh, terrain looks um, pretty flat, but uh, um, that's not exactly the case. I'll use this target um, indicator to kind of to show where um, the, tar the uh, line of sight um, goes to, and there's, there's, because we can see the blocked uh, uh, line of sight indicator, and there's a ridge across this part of the map, and uh, it's quite open here. And uh, this is the road running down the middle of the or the far third of the map um, is really a rise against which um, the Syrian tanks uh, might hide. So a bit of a conundrum tactically. Um, my thinking is uh, I'll be sending uh, one platoon of four tanks down towards uh, the road on hunt commands. I'll send another uh, a uh, platoon of uh, tanks up towards this um, uh, ridge. I think we call it a ridge or a sand dune or something. And uh, just make sure anyone coming over here will be sky lighted as they cross the horizon and um, we'll nab them. And the uh, third platoon will uh, send uh, to back them up. So if the tanks appear on the rise here or tanks appear in our flank uh, crossing this ridge then we'll uh, be able to um, correspondingly uh, smash them before they smash us. Two tanks I'll leave in the touch uh, zone at company headquarters and uh, his uh, offsider and uh, we'll just have to um, hope that we'll um, shoot up any any uh, red force that gets through our lines. Um, I've set them up staggered in a uh, this kind of half V formation because with desert there's um, dust. I don't want the uh, tanks in front to um, obscure the vision of the tanks behind. So I've set them all up in this uh, in this V formation. So, uh, I'm not sure what the uh, enemy force uh, consists of. I oh, might actually do this one first. I'm not sure what the enemy force will consist of. I'm going to play it real time. I'm just going to. Uh, going to uh, take it pretty easy. And. Uh, to, um, uh, in the first instance, we'll do that one again. We'll do um, platoon bounding, I think, is what one would call it. And uh, well, then we'll just um, stay put and see what Red Force does. On the other side of the map, um, obviously there's Red Force, and if we kind of see see this uh, road as a bit of a dividing line almost like the uh, top of the uh, hill hillock then it kind of slopes down again and then there's a big dip um, to 
towards the end of the map. And you can see it, uh, it's clearly over here. There's uh, something of a rise at this end of the map, which we can expect. So the, um, the Mycerians could come up, hold down, or to even turret down quite a fair way until um, they can see uh, our, our vehicles somewhere around here. So we've just got to take it easy, uh, no need to rush, we've got 55 minutes, we're playing in real time. And I uh, just have to make sure when we make contact we have more barrels on them than they do on us. Um, and uh, we trust the technology of uh, these brand new Abrams. Alright, let's get on with it and uh, see how it all pans out. Covered arc target uh, from here. Okay, that platoon is stopped, that's good. And then we'll send these guys uh, forward. Distance between each of these uh, vehicles. Uh, 40 50 meters, probably a bit close. This guy's bolt. Always a risk in the desert. Just let him move up. Hopefully, he doesn't become immobilized. can do it. Trying. Oh, made it. So it's, um, Check the uh, lines of fire here. Yeah? Don't have any clue where the uh, Syrians uh, might be. Just got to keep checking the. Uh, well, we can see a fair bit there. Another eyes. See a bit behind it too as well. Let's send these guys just a little bit uh, further forward. These guys better be facing. No red spots. This is nerve wracking. This is nerve wracking up to nearly five minutes. Um, I'm going to go very, very slowly. 
did um, imagine that uh, the uh, map could be broken off into uh, zones. This zone to the south, south of that ridge line, would be clear first. Uh, the zone north of that ridge line would be a second. Or zone two, the um, zone north of the road and in front of the uh, rise would be zone three, and the zone at the back, right way north and towards the blue touch zone would be zone four. And if we clear one zone at a time, uh, we would um, give the best chance of uh, success, I think. So, get, see if these guys don't want to cross this um, ridge line. Gets apt as a way of um, scouting forward. Much rather for the uh, Syrians to drive into my uh, line of sight and um, explode rather than uh, me doing the same thing. point in trying to get a grand eye view of the um, terrain because there's very little to speak of. Being night time it's just so difficult to see. Anyway whilst we're waiting for some action to um, um, occur, I thought it might be useful to uh, point you to a video or two I've done in the past. Um, Toe bump was a good one. Uh, in the Cold War uh, combat mission pack lost a couple of tow vehicles uh, in that uh, in that uh, scenario, but still come through with a surrender of the attacking Russians. And a uh, scenario, a um, video called "Is It Dead Yet?" where the Russian special forces had to um, take out an American observation post with an M113. Helping them, that was that was a lot of fun. Get the, get onto that video if that's the kind of thing you like. I'll keep pushing these guys forward. Almost wanting to um, make it a wheeling move from the left flank. Oh, spot, 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 spot. You can see. Bye, shoot mate, shoot. See here. Good, good. I can't see any um must um Job, good job, fellas. We're just biting off a little bit at a time. Oops, can't see him. Can't see him. Oh, I see that shot. Jeez, we're going to get all oh, nicely. Got some infiltrating fire now. These guys getting their spots, no? This guy a little bit forward. Anyone coming through the uh, smoke screen that the burning tanks put up? 
just let's this guy's wonder if they've been come too far forward now. Oops. Oh, yeah. I can see something. That's good. I can see. Oh wow, this fellow's right at the back. Nice. Yeah. Knocked out. Knocked out. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Gosh, if there's ten, there's twenty. Guys, they might um, be able to move these fellas up in one station. These guys have got a lot of sight to the to the north. It's good. Always paranoid now after um, the scenario toe bump that uh, we don't we give ourselves plenty of view so we can see where the uh, all the moving parts and any units that I need to move from my side we can do that um, pretty quickly. Let's check the uh, well we've got a lot of a lot of a lot of angles here. A lot of angles. Where are the rest of where are the rest of the, uh, the vehicles? Oh, oh yep, yep. Where is this fella? Blocked, blocked, blocked. The rise, okay. We bring these guys up so we're um, bring all guns to bear, not just um, not just one. Return fire. I feel like we're missing uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's fifteen, there's thirty. Clear this zone in front of us, across around the ridge here. We're moving on the left. Gonna cross over. Uh, you know, a bit There's a scenario I did, well, a video I did called uh, Death Rise of T55s. T55s battling uh, German leopards, and the penetration on those from the leopard uh, shells was so fierce it went through um, two or three uh, T55s so one, in one uh, in one shot. So now I'm a bit paranoid about um, lining up my vehicles so that the enemy can get uh, hit through one hole into the tank behind it. But it's hard to uh, not to manage that in most cases. So I'm paranoid about the left flank here. I feel like. Uh, Good line of sight 
with these fellas. We'll just continue. We don't necessarily have a good line of sight with what's happening over here, do we? Oh, we do, actually. Oh, the back. Oh, nice at the back. We've got the uh, blue touchstone uh, on the fire, and that's uh, great news for us. No return fire. Very little return fire. Just we got fifteen minutes, so let's uh get overwatch from the other two platoons. Creepy creepy forward. More tanks deep deep north. Oh no! Drive right off the bat. We can see that. Good. God, let's just pause here. Pause the further forward movement of these fellas. Oh! Now this is a tank fight. This is the fight we came for. Oh no! Oh, it's a weapon! Can we reverse? Yes, get out of there. Oh, the tank's destroyed, burning. Two down. Yep, yep. Three, three tanks hit. We got this fella hit twice. Tracks are damaged, everything's damaged. I might just pull him back. So he's so fast, he can lose a couple of tanks. This guy's weapon controls is done for. Just check the others. 50 cal mate damaged, it's okay. Tracks and so on damaged. None for the rest. Now I'm a bit uh, paranoid about uh, trying to advance these, uh, these vehicles. Let's just check the target. A line of sight. Yep, we can see them on this side. To a degree. Oh, that sounds bad. Things coming up over those rises. Penetration. Let's go. One more guns, more barrels. Oh, the US Marines total victory. Syrian army surrender. The US Marines, two men killed, one man wounded, two tanks lost. Okay, I thought we might have lost three. We'll go to review the map. Okay, let's review the map and um, three train tanks, three tanks left on our uh, on our right. T ninety SAs, yep. Laser weapon. Well, that guy's damaged. Three left. Front tank uh, penetration here is knocked out. Oh, he took off an Abram, so he deserved it. None, none, none. Or oh, one tank left there. So he moved all of his fellows out of the blue touch zone. That was interesting. That was interesting. So many wrecks. So we've got two tanks burning. Okay, destroyed. Took about one T90. So we got none. Hopeless. Three, two, four. So the right flank with a lot of pressure. 
three, two, go one, two tanks, one tank, two T90s, and four. So the left and right flanks were the real uh, heroes of the day. It's a lot of fun, short, sharp, and sweet, and uh, 12 minutes to go, which means we could have even gone a bit slower and uh, got even a better result. But that's uh, it for uh, Wombat Thunder. I hope you like that. Sub like, subscribe, and most of all, comment, and we'll see you in the next one.